The next step after defining a staff is to plan for its costs. This video will show you how to plan from estimates, plan from a lump sum, plan individual expenses or positions, and plan from staff. Let's start by going into the folio we would like to plan the costs for. This could be done by using different estimation approaches from the costs section under the plan tab. If you decide to select to plan from estimates, you need to have previously completed the original estimates within your JIRA issues that are included within the scope of your folio. Using this option, Tempo Budgets will calculate the number of staff positions that will be required to complete your project. Estimates can be based on hours or story points. If you don't have estimates up front and you don't want to bother defining a detailed budget, then simply select the lump sum planned cost option and enter the total budget of the folio per day. The cost will automatically spread over the folio's timeframe. You also have the option to enter planned costs in detail for maximum precision and reporting capabilities. You can do this manually using the plan and expense and plan a position buttons, or you can also import costs through a CSV file if you prefer. Let's go ahead and plan an expense. First, you'll want to name expenses and classify them by category and type. Recurrent and amortized expenses can be easily defined. It is also possible to plan from staff, and that option is available after planning an expense by clicking on the two-person icon. There are three ways you can do this. The first is to plan from staff members' availability, which will create positions based on the current staff member's rates and availability. Plan from planned effort or staff member, which will create positions based on the current staff member's planning and cost rates. You can also plan from the staff member's assigned issues. Let's just quickly plan from the availability of staff members assigned to this folio. And now the planned costs are automatically imported. Anytime during the planning process, you can check out the Scope Inspector. It provides you with useful information regarding the scope of your project that will help you with your planning, such as the total effort required based on your current estimates and the maximum capacity of your resources given the project's timeframe and work schedule. Once your planned costs are entered, you have a project baseline ready. You can create multiple baselines for comparing what-if scenarios, choosing the baseline that best suits your needs. But we'll talk more about this in the versioning and labeling baselines for your budget video. So just to summarize, in this video we learned how to plan from estimates, plan from a lump sum, plan individual expenses or positions, and how to plan from staff. Thanks for watching.